everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Early season, mid-season, late season, it really doesn't matter. The SEC doesn't wait to turn up the intensity. An early season matchup in the Southeastern Conference. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. all right guys welcome back to another episode now somebody asked me will this be in the rebuild or the georgia high school i'm doing the rebuild and i'm including you you all's you know georgia high school career in the rebuild dynasty so that's why i posted that community tab where each week it will be a game of the week and i posted that and this is the first game man number four georgia taking on south carolina Rocky them black and red. Yo, no, I ain't gonna lie, them, them colors fine, man. I ain't gonna cap on that. But you're gonna see a South Carolina can spoil the number four team in the nation. Cause right now they looking like they can now. So and we got a lot of you know, a lot of y'all um submitted players in this game from Jackson Parker to Caden Perry to uh Jaden Jones, I mean to Malcolm Chamberlain, you know. I might have pronounced that wrong, but Jackson Parker right there missed the open field tackle. Jackson Parker, man, you, you got to step your tackling game up. In front of receiver, Preston Reeves. It's a lot of lot of submitted players in this game, man, especially for Georgia. And right there, Jackson Parker said, hey, I missed that first tackle, but I ain't going to miss the second one. And South Carolina goes three and out. All right, third and 11 here. Now, I went ahead and started Caden Perry, you know, at running back. And right here, JT Daniels, he holding on to that ball way too long, man. And Georgia goes three and out. So, it's a three and out, three and out, you know, game at this point. First and ten, read option right there. Look at all the black jerseys swarming to the ball. Yo, you are not going to beat Georgia from sideline to sideline. It just not going to happen. Like third and eight here, still South Carolina do a, a wide receiver screen, and that goes nowhere for one yard. Big boy number 99 here with the tackle. First and 10 right here, JT Daniels throwing it out to Caden Perry. Now he picks up nine yards, nearly a first down. All right, second and one right here. Now, guys, this is a very long video, even though it's the minutes on five minute quarters. Man, it would be greatly appreciated, man, if y'all subscribe to the channel and watch these videos all the way through. All right, first and 10, that's pretty much a draw play. <laughs> JT Day is not known to be a runner, but he picks up seven. Second quarter action right here, second and three. A little read option, and Caden Perry, his best run of the game. He picks up nine. Keep them chains moving. That would be something, man. I'm a real-life Florida Gator fan. It would be something in South Carolina, you know, upset Georgia's Caden Perry is going backwards. So let's see what the South Carolina defense can wake up and, and, and stop the run because we know Georgia got some good running backs. And right here, James Cook the third. That's not going to help South Carolina. Them boys eating. Georgia, how y'all going to respond? Third and 13 here. JT Daines dropped back the pass, and he times run out. Whoever number 15 is, is doing his thing for South Carolina. It's pretty much a defensive battle game at this point. First and 10 to hand off to that left side. And look at, just look at the damn black jersey. Whenever they run the ball or catch the ball, it's like Kirby Smart got them boys ready, man. Them boys are flying to the ball. Third and seven right here. And good open field tackle right there by Monty Wright. That boy, the truth, I ain't gonna lie. He, he's a really good middle linebacker. First and 10. Let's see what Georgia can do. Caden Perry up the guts. He picks up five. I'm pretty sure this at this point, you know, South Carolina saying, hey, y'all not just gonna beat us with running the ball because with running the ball, that comes to play action. That sets up everything. 
JT Daines, what are you doing? That's three and out for Georgia. It's like, when are we going to see a score? Can South Carolina break this 0 0 tie ball game? Pass underneath. And Rico Powers picks up eight. And timeouts out by South Carolina. They definitely want to put some points on the board. They want to break this tie. All right, second and two right here. And that's pretty. I don't know how he threw that ball, but I thought that was going to be a sack. All right, third and two right here. But we call the money down. Another drop pass. That's not going to help out your quarterback. All right, playing enough times for Georgia, man. Minute, seven seconds left, three timeouts, playing their time. Let's see what Kirby Smart and the offense can do. JT Daniels, he throws it deep. Oh, who is that? Kiaris Jackson, 47-yard reception. Georgia is cooking. I don't know what South Carolina was doing. I don't know what coverage they was thinking about, but you cannot leave no receiver. I don't care who it is. No receiver open like that. And James Cook is open in the flats. JT, Dan, you put that on James Cook. He's literally walking in the end zone. All right, second and goal. James Cook and Perry in the backfield. And same place, same results. And it is, yet it's a touchdown, man. Georgia breaks this top ball game, man. They are leading 7 to nothing. 46 seconds left, second and 10. Let's see what South Carolina can cook up right here. Yo, Colin Hill, what's up? The them boys got you scared, man. The boys got you scared. All right, third and ten. Hand off up the gut. I'm a good run. Kevin Harris, 12. His best run of the game of 12 yards. First and ten. Dump it down underneath. Jackson Parker with another tackle. Ever since that first tackle, it's like, yo, he, he has definitely shown that he can actually make plays. And it's showing. All right, second and inches. Pass underneath, first down. Josh Van with seven-yard reception. That's South Carolina hurry us to the line. If they could put three on the board, man, it will be something heading to the second half. He throwing it deep. And Jaden Jones... Yo, you had your hands on that one, man. The former five-star recruit. You had your hands on that one. Second and then Jackson Parker nearly had his first career sack. The other former five-star cornerback. Hey, 30-16. Man, this is a coverage sack. That is a coverage sack. He nearly completed it. And he just dropped it. And that's the way the first half ends, guys. I'm going to go ahead and see y'all in the second half. Make some adjustments and find some second half offense. Georgia in front, 7 0. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Maybe the most important statistic from the first half no turnovers for either team so far a good job of ball security but now you wonder if the quarterbacks can avoid putting the ball in jeopardy they're going to want to make a big play and that might sort of set off a feeding frenzy on the defensive side yeah and it's in defenses that's the number one priority i mean you can give up a lot of yards you could they can chew up yards up and down the field but if you can force turnovers then you're keeping them off the scoreboard and and that's your number one goal so i Defenses, they, they have to be a little bit upset right now, and they got to try to find ways to, to hit harder. How about when you're tackling? Use the strip stick. You know, be able to strip the ball out, get the ball out, try to get some interceptions, try to make some user picks. You know, do whatever you can to try to get the football back from that offense and set your offense up in good field position. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the. All right, guys, second half action right here, first and 10 for Georgia. If they score one more time, man, with the way they defensively playing, this game is lights out. And Caden Perry, not a lot of running room as he picks up two. I believe that was South Carolina's game plan coming in. Just stop the run. Stop the run. Make JT Daniels beat him, throw the ball. As Caden Perry spins his way for six. And that would, be, that would be my game plan, too. You know what I mean? JT Daniels coming in with a lot of height. You know, let's see what his arm is about. Right there, Caden Perry, not a lot of running room. South Carolina refused to be beaten 
by Georgia and drew by Georgia trying to run the ball. In South Carolina, I'm guessing they take pride in that. Kevin Harris picks up two. It's like neither neither team is actually running the ball particularly well. So great coaching as far as that on both sides of the ball as Kevin Harris picks up one. That's going to bring up a third and eight. Now, we all know Curry Smart is, is the defensive-minded guy, so that's why these boys are flying to the ball. And that was meant to be a screen pass. I don't know why in the hell he didn't run right there in that particular situation. But Monty Harris came up with the tackle. That was a crazy, crazy play right there. Hand out to Caden Perry, and he picks up four. But Georgia is sticking to the running game. I, I, I commend them for that. Second and six here. JC Dames throws it out to Caden Perry. Yo, they just cannot get Perry going. And that loses four yards. That's supposed to have been a wide receiver screen. They actually completed for some kind of yards to George Pickens for his first catch of four yards. And arguably, probably the top three receivers in the nation with only one catch of four yards. Man, that's, that's not going to do it. And the read option right here. It's Colin Hill gets blown up by Richard LeCount. But oh, pick up of a minimal game. All right, first and 10. Play action. And it's picked off. Richard LeCount with their first turnover of the game. LeCount with the amazing intercept. Yo, if Jackson Parker would have turned around, I'm just not looking at a replay. Jackson Parker, if he would have turned around, that would have been a pick six. Because Jackson Parker got wheels. And JT is trying to take a shot. D, he trying to end the ball game early. Second and 10. Hand off to Perry. Perry breaks and tackle. He, he just not. He's number 15 is saying, yo, y'all take that run and shit somewhere else because y'all will not run on us. And it's definitely showing. Last play before we go into the fourth quarter. Third and 11. JT Dance with a quarterback draw, but that's not going to do it. Three and out for Georgia. All right, second line is deep in their own territory, man. Let's see what Georgia can come up with. Nice handoff on the right side. And Monty Harris with a amazing tackle. This dude been all over the field today. Georgia come up with a turnover, man. They're going to have great field position. Three and out right here. I don't know what that was, but it's completed to Josh Van for seven. And Josh Van went down. Looks to be a very serious injury. You know when it's like that, yo, it's a serious injury out for some weeks. Right here, nobody covering him. <laughs> running back. Not for Chamberlain. Makes it time. Makes his first tackle of the game. Kevin Harris picks up ten. First and ten. Pitch play. Justin Parker, boy, I was crazy earlier, man. You get sniffed on like that. But I commend you for not being afraid, though. Right there, that's just a, a disastrous play. Good play by Georgia. That just that play was just doomed from the start. All right, 38. This is a... Yo, it's so many drop passes, so many deflections in this game by... Especially by Georgia. It is crazy. JT Dings fires into the tight end. That, yo, that is the dagger right there. Trey McKinney. That is the ball game. JT Dings, he instantly knew where he wanted to go with that ball. That is the ball game, man. I don't see South Carolina making no kind of stride, no kind of comeback. As Colin Hill gets it out to Smith, and Smith is stopped in his tracks immediately, but not before picking up eight. That's going to bring up a second and two. Like I was saying, man, I don't see Sacramento making no kind of effort right there. That's, that's, that's not going to help. <laughs> Number 99 is silent and no cap. He is definitely playing a hell of a game. Also about Jackson Parker, man. He, even though he you know, must cover Miss Tigers, he's shown it. Yo. He can fly. He can fly around on that field, man. Obviously, Richard LeCount, Jaden Jones had a couple of deflections, man. Possibly interception or two. So yeah, these, these boys are straight, man. They are definitely straight. First and ten. Colin here over the middle. His pass completed to join for thirteen. As they hurry back to the line. 
But Georgia is defense is playing lights out, man. Colin Hill not even a hundred yard passing at this point. And he throwing it deep. And that is deflated by Tyson Campbell. Yo, that's another interception. So many drop interceptions in this game. So many. Second and 10. He taking a shot deep again. Same place and results, man. Look, back-to-back -back pass deflection, man. Could have been two interceptions opportunity. All right, third and 10. Screen pass. Look at it. Look at the black jersey flying to the ball, man. And he nearly picks up the first down. That's going to set up a fourth in inches. Let's dig in. Georgia stop it. It's the end of the game. Hand off on the right side. And the game does not end as Jackson Parker trying to rip the ball and end the game. <laughs> like I said, he, Jackson Parker is definitely flying around, man. You know that, that little annoying fly that just won't go away? <laughs> He's like that, man. He's all over the field. And that right there is a coverage. Like I said, number 99 is no cap having a one amazing game. No cap on that. All right, second and 18. Yo, why y'all running the ball, bro? Look at all the black jerseys flying to the ball, man. Like I spoke on earlier, man. Y'all saw how fast the boys fly to the ball. Like third and forever, man. Third and 20 right here. And he stops in his track. Nick moves on the five yard reception, bro. You was not going to outrun them Georgia defenders, man. Not going to happen. Right here, fourth and 16. This is the ball game, folks. Colin Hill dropped back to pass. He throwing it deep. And your boy Jaden Jones, the former five-star recruit, finally got his first career interceptions. Let's go. And that is the end of the game. Like, yo. That was one hell of a game, man. I thought Georgia going to come in, you know, lose this game. But they have shown that JT Davis made a couple of plays. And a lot of freshmen on the defensive side of the ball, man. Y'all made some plays. To keep that number four Reagan intact, you know what I mean? Georgia remains undefeated. You know, this is only, you know, the first game of the week, man. It's many, many, many more to come. You know what I mean? And the game of the week are you guys, man. A um, couple Ohio states, Houston, you know, uh, Alabama, Clemson, North Carolina. All those games coming, man. If all everybody that submitted their players, your team will play in the game of the week. So be on the lookout for that. This is just the first game, so... And I'm predicting, might be wrong, but Ohio State versus Georgia for the national championship, man. But that's me, create, create game set. Hell, you're going to call me. Till next time, I'm gone.